welcome to the seventh installment of uh, Jim's Montreal Beer Reviews Season 2. As you can see, uh, first of all, I've got my uh, old fashioned con presentation uh, style where I uh, can't see me, I'm behind the camera. Uh, the, the reason for that is just I'm trying out uh, different perspectives, different, different points of view for this season uh, to, to try to determine which ones uh, you know, are the, the optimal ones. Um, which ones uh, are probably a good idea to avoid anyway but for this, uh, just for the purpose of this uh, review I'm going to be uh, behind the camera so um, as you can see it's Newcastle Brown Ale that I'm going to be reviewing today for you uh, as uh, Zach Avery said in his latest video he's just posted today uh, beer is better shared so um, I'm going to be sharing this beer with you now I've already um, had this uh, quite a few times it's one of my favourite beers probably uh, at least they used to be and uh, most of the beer reviews on YouTube have already uh, reviewed this beer, so um, this is just going to be my uh, my perspective on this beer. I, I want to take a deeper kind of look and you know try to break the the, the beer into parts and see what it's all about. So uh, jump into the review right now. Now here in Canada, um, Newcastle comes in two uh, different um, you know versions. It comes in these uh, tall boys, as they call them, uh, 500 ml cans. And it also comes in those smaller, I think, 330ml bottles, clear glass bottles. Um, uh, in England, it's usually sold in large, I think, uh, uh, five something, 550 or so uh, bottles, also clear glass. Um, some of them, unfortunately, do go skunky, and uh, even though I, I, I've been lucky, I haven't um, encountered that, but. Uh, you know, just a uh, cure sometimes. Newcastle, of course, from uh, Newcastle upon Tyne in England. Uh, it's a very one of the one of the most uh, known uh, ales from England uh, to be sold overseas and you know in different countries like that. I think uh, along with uh, Bass uh, Pale Ale. But uh, you know, a lot of people know this. It's you know hugely available on tap um, on cask as well. So uh, this is a pretty you know solid performer usually. Uh, pretty claim kind of there and I'm actually uh, skimming through um, Michael Jackson's book right now to uh, find the entry and I did find it so uh, I'm just going to read from the site um, the most popular bottled ale in Britain with a great student following its macho image has led to be with alcoholic potency than with its origin in a muscular city once known for the nearby uh, coal mines and shipyards this paler drier style of brown ale was launched in 1927 by a head brewer whose not quite appropriate name was Colin Porter. If it's not excessively chilled or gulp, this beer has a surprisingly nutty, flowery, whiny delicacy. Now, um, this is 4.7 uh, alcohol by volume, so relatively uh, mediocre kind of potency. Uh, it's an ale, it's a brown ale. And uh, as you can see, I'm going to be using my, uh, it's one of my favorite glasses, uh, Newcastle brown ale, tulip kind of fine glass, very versatile. And uh, let's crack it open. All right. Actually, I'll use the method from uh, J. Pour it to the center just to see uh, if there's any difference. Because usually I pour Newcastle from the side. This settles quite well. Um, I don't think I'll need to wait. Uh, no, it's it's quite uh, going quite well. Plenty of head with the style of pouring. And uh, I already can see that the head's uh, light brown, kind of, um, kind of foamy, but uh, even you know it's kind of a bit creamy, not too creamy, I guess. And uh, the carbonation at first appears to be uh, quite moderate, but I do see the bubbles overall, and you you can see them as well. Um, it's not uh, an opaque on color. Um, on camera, it appears darker, just a tad darker than it actually is, but it's. Essentially a dark uh, copper, maybe a light, you know, medium kind of brown uh, body to it. So um, I can already smell it from far away, but nevertheless, yeah, very sweet, very malty, uh, nutty kind of smell to it. Kind of fresh as well. Um, this is kind of nice when you. Um, you know, when you drink it from a can, even though you might get sort of a metallic taste to it, but you're definitely not going to get a skunky beer, uh, which would be unfortunate because Newcastle is quite good. I mean, it's not uh, something, uh, you know, that uh, outstanding, but usually it's quite, uh, quite, quite a nice, you know, beverage, quite a nice beer. 
So yeah, I'm uh, mostly uh, smelling malts and uh, that nutty kind of smell to it. Uh, let's uh, you know, give it a taste. It's real nice. Uh, starts out kind of sweet, but it's you know it's well balanced. It's not uh, too sweet, especially because it's uh, you know, it's a light kind of ale. It's nothing too strong. Um, you get so once it hits the tongue, you get that uh, multi caramel kind of uh, feel to it. Um, kind of goes in into uh, just a tad of a roasted uh, flavor as well. And finishes just kind of light, uh, nothing, uh, just with enough uh, enough bite to it, uh, just a bit of nice kind of bitterness, but it doesn't really uh, linger too long. And um, I don't really have any, I don't really get the metallic taste, so I'm kind of lucky. The head's not too, uh, not too, uh, you know, yummy or anything like that, but uh, you know, it's a nice kind of head. It doesn't come uh, down entirely, and you know, the bear looks like good ale should look like anyway. And uh, yeah, so it's not entirely a complex bear. In fact, it's not. But it's not, so the the, the combination is uh, moderate, it's an ale. Um, mouthfeel is, I, I'd say it's in the middle between light body and uh, medium kind of mouthfeel, but you know, it's not very really chewy and you think about it, but it's not what, sorry, you, you wouldn't say that for Newcastle, it's not the case here. So it's very, very, uh, very drinkable beer, very social, it could, could be a good, uh, for social kind of occasions, uh, could be a good choice. Um, could be a good transition beer to uh, you know for someone who you know is not entirely a huge fan of ales or maybe just try, starting to uh, uh, try and different ales or anything. So I'll come back to my final thoughts in a sec, but it's, it's quite good. Right. So what can I say? What can I tell you about uh, Newcastle? My opinion is that it's a very worthy kind of beer. It's not the most outstanding thing out there. Obviously, it's. Uh, it's you know it's a popular beer. It's uh, I think it serves its purpose just well. It's a nice example of uh, brown ale, one of the better ones I guess out there. Uh, well distributed, you can find this pretty much anywhere. And uh, the best thing about it, it's very drinkable. You know, it took me no time to get uh, this far into the beer, and I almost had a pint in the beginning. Um, at the same time, it's got enough things going on. You know, you get that malt sweetness with a nice roasted uh, touch to it. You get a um, nice and nutty flavor as well. You know, it's well balanced. People like sweeter beers will enjoy this because it's the sweetness is well balanced. It's nothing, you know, it's not bitter. It doesn't, um, you know, and nothing uh, too dry or nothing too bitter in the finish. At the same time, you know, it's sweet enough, not too sweet. And, uh, you know, well worth the money, well worth the attention. And try it out if you haven't. Um, it took me quite some time to get to this beer. I think I tried it um, last year, but you know I was kind of hesitant because it wasn't. It's kind of um, no, it's not very expensive, but it's not really cheap in my area. So, but I'm glad if you know I, I tried it at the time. So, as far as the grade goes, I'm going to give this solid four out of five. It's a solid performer. Nothing too outstanding. Nothing too complex. But at the same time, it's not watery. It's not bland. And uh, it's very. Uh, I come back to this beer each time. You know, I, I never abandon it. Uh, even though I taste more complex beer with time, I still enjoy this as much as I did in the beginning. And uh, definitely a recommendation if you haven't tried it out. And you know, the fact that I have the uh, truly blast from Newcastle Brown shows that I do respect the beer, and I still do. Quite frankly, yeah, I, I'm honest on this one. Anyway, thank you for your attention. Uh, cheers. I'll see you guys later.